So polynomial inequalities can be quite a challenge for some students. So I'm going to show two different solution methods here. The first one, well, first of all, here's what a polynomial inequality looks like. I've shown it to you factored here in its unfactored form. It would look like this. So I have a polynomial. I have an inequality symbol. And typically, I'll have a 0 on the other side. So for what values of x is this polynomial less than or equal to 0? So a way that you can find it using a graph, especially if someone's given you a graph like I have here, is you just have to look. Where is my graph? Where is my graph less than or equal to 0? Where is it below the x-axis? And it's below the x-axis. That's the less than or equal to 0. For all x is between, negative 5 and 1. And since it's or equal to, that means the negative 5 and the 1 are both included. So we use the brackets to include them like that. The test point method, the way we do this is we look for the x's that make the inequality equal 0 which is the same thing we did above to find those x-intercepts. So if you have x plus 5 times x minus 1 equals 0, the x values that make that true are negative 5 and 1, the x-intercepts you had up there. What that does then is it divides the number line into intervals. And so you have the interval from negative infinity to negative 5, from negative 5 to 1, and from 1 to infinity. What you're going to do then is pick a number in each of those intervals and test it in the inequality. If it works for your test point, then it will work for every number in that interval. So between negative infinity and negative 5, a good test value would be negative 6. From negative 5 to 1, oh, 0 is in there. I'll choose that. That's easy to plug in. And from 1 to infinity, I'll choose 2. And then we actually have to test it in the inequality. So checking negative 6. I'm going to check it up here in the factored form. Negative 6 plus 5 times negative 6 minus 1. Is that less than or equal to 0? So negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. Notice I'm just writing the negative symbols. I don't really care what the number is. I just care what its sign is. Negative times negative is positive. Is a positive number less than or equal to 0? It is not. So this interval is not part of my solution set. So next I'm going to check 0. So is 0 plus 5? times 0 minus 1 less than or equal to 0. So this time I have 0 plus 5 is a positive, times 0 minus 1, that's a negative. Is that less than or equal to 0? A positive times a negative is a negative. That is less than or equal to 0. That is part of my solution set. I don't know if it's all of it. Well, I do because we've already solved it, but we'll pretend like we don't know for sure. And we'll check that last point. So 2 plus 5 times 2 minus 1, is that less than or equal to 0? So I get a positive, 2 plus 5 is 7. Another positive, 2 minus 1, is that less than or equal to 0? A positive times a positive is a positive. Is that less than or equal to 0? It is not. So there's my solution set again. And then you would check the endpoints. to see that since my inequality back up here had the equal sign on it, that you include both endpoints. And we get that same answer.